One in five. That's how many people in the United States are living with a mental health condition in any given year. And that number was estimated by federal officials before the pandemic even began. Well, tonight, as we enter the final days of Mental Awareness Month, we introduce you to a local artist who's breaking the stigma on mental health and showing, even in rap music, that it's okay to not be okay. Um. A lot of MCs, they feel like because of the genre we're in, we kind of have to keep this bravado. And, uh, you know, that's not necessarily the case anymore. We can all be human. Alfred Banks is on a mission to be successful at its craft, while also helping to bring freedom to others. The New Orleans rapper is making a name for himself, with major recognition for his rhymes on an international scale. But with Cupid's arrow, target was narrow. But it's what happened here at home that has made the most impact. See you in this casket. Never thought you were suffering so much to do something so drastic. In 2014, Alfred's brother, Orlandis Banks, took his own life after suffering from schizophrenia. His mental illness was a hard conversation, not just for Orlandis, but also his family. I come from a black family uptown. Like, we don't really talk about uh, mental health issues. You kind of pray it away, whatever the case. After a short break of creating music, he decided to illustrate the pain through his art. The day of his funeral, I actually had to leave uh, the service because I had a show that night. And so it was super intense. So I wrote an album about that car ride from the funeral to the show. Nobody came to see you. Nobody cares about your music. Those songs made up the beautiful album, a work that's been embraced by organizations like the National Association of Mental Illness and Unmasked NOLA. Banks is now an ambassador for them, and his songs have become life-changing for his fans. Stories of people deciding not to take their own life after hearing his words. And it's natural to wonder what's the reaction that I've gotten from the music that I make kind of lets me know that um, I'm not just saying words anymore, like I'm touching people on a more personal level. Alfred hopes that his work, along with his brother's memory, so physically you are gone, you are with me forever, will break chains for others who are suffering in silence. I mean, you're not by yourself. It's not something you have to deal with on your own. Be open about what's going on. Don't hide. Don't, don't harbor those, those energies and feelings, and uh, you'll see a better day soon. Well, if you or a family member could use help, especially during this pandemic, NAMI New Orleans provides free services, support groups, classes, and more. Call this number on your screen. It's 504-896-2345 or send them an email to NAMINO at NAMINEWORLEANS.ORG. There's also an opportunity for adults to be trained on how to assist someone dealing with mental health challenge or crisis. Trainings are offered once a month here in New Orleans.